Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Deadeye and today I'm going to show you how to do quick and efficient transitions from your first pistol to your second pistol. For this video we headed out to one of our local ranges that hosts the Indian Territory SAS Club. Unfortunately we lost part of our audio out there while doing the tutorial segment of shooting video. Apparently you're supposed to turn the microphone on with the camera. This guy doesn't know that I guess. Anyways, uh, it is a very quick and simple tutorial to go over, so we're going to show you that here at the range, but I got some really cool video there to kind of show you what these guys do to add a little flavor to their props to create that cowboy atmosphere. So check out this video. At the end of it, I'll see you down the range to go over your pistol to pistol transitions. <laughs> Alright guys, so there's a little look at the SS Club here. Uh, if you want to check them out, I'll put a link down below. So let's get into the meat of this video. We are covering how to transition from your first pistol to your second pistol quickly and efficiently. And we're going to do that with your two main rigs in Cowboy, your double strong side, and your cross draw. I kind of have a preference towards the cross draw, so let's start there today. All right guys, so with both rigs, the pistol to pistol transition time is going to be identical. I just have a preference towards the cross draw just because of how it fits into my game. With the movement and long gun transitions, you know, these are some things to think about when choosing your rig other than just the pistol to pistol transition that we're going over today. We'll cover some of those more dynamic transitions in some future videos. Now with the cross draw, you're almost always going to draw with your strong hand and 99% of the time you're going to be drawing your strong side first which makes this a great rig for consistency. So let's start with the draw. First thing with the cross draw is you need to be in a stance that's going to allow you to draw the pistol and once the barrel clears the holster immediately go down range. So depending on how you wear your rig or how your rig is designed you might have to do a twist if you wear it out here so when I draw from this position, I would actually have to twist my hips around, draw the gun, it's now pointing down range, and push out. Now, with my natural stance, I have a good balanced stance with my lead leg slightly forward, and I wear my pistol slightly on my front pocket. This allows me to, naturally from here, draw straight up with my shoulder and back with my elbow to a position that I like to push out from. Here, I'm coming straight out and it's going down range, not breaking that 180. So after the draw, drawing up, we're pushing out. After that shooting string, we're going to twist that gun and bring it back to where we pushed out from, that same position. While I'm coming back with it, I'm going to reach my weak hand over the top and wrap my thumb around the bottom of the cylinder and my fingers over the top of the gun. Once it's secured into my weak hand, I'm going to let go with my strong hand and I'm simultaneously going to twist this gun down, straight down, go down to the holster and grab your strong side gun with your strong side hand. I bring that up to that position I like to come out from, the weak hand floats out and meets the pistol. And then of course after that, coming back in and holstering is easy from there. Thank you. 
All right, guys, there's your cross draw transitions. Before we move on to the double strong side, I should mention uh, an exception to our 170 degree rule. So basically when you draw, you can draw straight up, meeting that 180 degree plane, or when you holster, you may holster straight down, once again, meeting that 180 degree plane. You still cannot exceed it. So pointing the pistol into yourself, or even missing the holster and pointing back, or even drawing, like if you're leaning forward, you draw that pistol and your holsters point back, you've exceeded that 180 degrees. And depending on the situation, that does lead to some level of disqualification. Anyways, that's just a little disclaimer I need to throw in. Let's uh, move on to the double strong side and uh, see if I remember how to use this thing. So when I came back to Cowboy a few years ago, I was really pressured into switching to a double strong side, which I did. I shot it for about a year and a half or so and really liked the options that it provided throughout a stage. So yeah, we'll cover some things in some future videos showing how dynamic you can be if you're not just drawing from the same side every time. So let's get into it. Start with a draw. Almost the majority of the time, you're going to draw from your strong side first. And just like we did with the cross draw, I like to draw up to this stock position to push out from. Now, I like this method of pushing out versus raising up because it occasionally saves me a miss from an AD. Essentially, an accidental discharge, which can happen whenever you're pushing out before you fully get extended, you might not get it fully cocked. And thunk, there it goes. If you're pushing out towards your target, you have better odds of actually hitting that target. Even if it's an accident, a hit counts as a hit. This saved my bacon this year during the terrible conditions at winter range. So, like I said, up here, push straight out, right towards your target. So after the shooting string, I'm gonna break that weak hand off. I'm gonna let this pistol come in and holster while your weak hand simultaneously scoops your weak side out and brings it up to a position that you can push out from. Now, how we're doing this is, I'm gonna use these three fingers to scoop in on the front side of the grip, to pull up. And I'm going to control it with my thumb over the top of the back sight. So it comes up here, and then I'm gonna push out. So by doing this, I can now let these three, these three fingers go. It's being held in between my first finger and my thumb as this hand comes in and grabs it. That gives me that space to get a good grip, finish pushing it out, and now I'm in a good pistol shooting grip. Of course, afterwards, take it over with your weak hand again. Strong hand goes to doing whatever else you need it to do. Bring it in straight down and dump it. Well, there's your double strong side transitions. Um, man, that's kind of a short, simple video today. I needed to because it's pretty dark and gloomy and I think it's about to rain. So uh, let's head back to the reloading room and uh, finish this thing up. See you guys there. Well, looks like we beat the rain. If you're still here, thanks for sticking around and watching. I do understand that most of you watching probably already have these basics down. 
If you are new to the game, definitely let us know how these techniques helped you. I'm always striving to provide better, more accurate content on this channel. So everybody that in the last one gave me constructive criticism, the positivity, and sometimes outright negativity, it, it all goes together to help me make better videos. From here guys, I'm kind of going everywhere. I'm not trying to start with basics and I'm not trying to start with the most advanced techniques. Um, there are tens of thousands of us cowboy shooters all over the world at different levels of our game. So each and every week I'm going to go just randomly. So if you have something that you're struggling with, comment down below. And if I see a trend going with certain things that we need to cover, I'll jump on those first. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And that's going to tell you every time we post one of these videos. We're hoping right now to try to hit about every two weeks or so, get a good video in. Once I get that computer skills down, the editing and everything, um, we're going to try to up that to about a week or so. So for right now, I'll be seeing you guys probably in two more weeks. Thanks for watching.